What's happening guys, Diddybeer89 here, back again with another Dragon Ball Legends video and today I'm just going to give you a nice little update on the Ultra Space Time number 9 summons and of course the login bonuses that we are getting along with this banner. So what we're going to do is we're going to look into it and see what it's saying. So the banner is now up and running so we're going to see what characters and additional characters are available. So we already know Khalifa and Kale are on the banner or berserker mode and etc so we're just going to see if they've added any extra so from what we can see is the banner is out now it says the normal information super saiyan 2 khalifa and super saiyan kale berserk and super saiyan cover make debut sparking rarity ultra space time summons number nine is now on now they have brought the new banner out well i say new the new banner of the ultra space time number nine and of course they're going along the same route they constantly keep on doing now since the Broly movie banner and giving you the opportunity for I think about two days to gather any of these three characters of a 99 Z Awakening limit break so if you've got the chrono they are about a thousand chronos a pop if you have the chronos of course jump on them because they will level up a lot faster than our normal characters but you only do have a limited time so it says special super special ultra space time number uh, ultra space time summons number nine z power times nine 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 summons is now on so guys you can jump on that the period is from the 31st of january until the fourth so tell a lie you have about four days on this they've made it a little bit longer than the ultra space time number eight banner so i'm a bit surprised on that so yeah they've got these characters and as you can see on that we are getting cell on it and super vegeta so they've included those i do not know why they've put cell on it but each to their own so the feature characters for the 999 um, z ability awakenings whatever is super saiyan 2 khalifa Super Saiyan Kale Berserk and Super Saiyan Kaba. So they're the only ones that will give you the 999Z power boost. Okay, so any other characters on this banner will not give you that. So just bear in mind when you are summoning, you cannot get a Cell or a Super Vegeta. Also says important notice or important note, sorry. Only featured characters Z powers are set to 999, like I just said. Uh, this summons event only affects the summon labeled logo. So if it hasn't got the 999Z power limit break on it, then you are not getting it. So if you summon on the normal Ultra Space Time number 9 summons, you will only get, I believe it's 300 or 600, 600 um, Z powers. So like I said, know what banner you're summoning on because you can waste a lot of chronos summoning on the wrong banner thinking you're going to get certain Z powers. So... Uh, the normal banner is commencing from today, so the 31st, and until the 5th of March, okay? So we have got a solid month on this, a solid month and a bit, so it is there for a little while. So if you haven't got the chronos now and you wish to grind, then go for it. So we've got a little bit more information on the character. So we already know Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa is on it, and she is a purple sparking character. Her battle style is a melee type. Her special move is Crush Cannon, which deals a major explosive damage. Inflict enemies with attribute downgrades. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of it. I'm just going to read the main parts. Her main ability is Depend on Sis. So I believe that restores own key by 50 plus 40% to strike damage. Inflict for 15 time accounts. Cancel own attribute downgrade requirement is 20 time accounts to elapse. Then you've got your special feel. I can feel the tingle. I Ever since I see that on the animation, and if you haven't seen the animations, make sure you check out my other videos. I do have them all on there on my channel. Uh, I don't want this character from it. It's just, it looks stupid. I know it's the main thing about it, but it does look stupid. Um, also, a Z ability is Z ability 2 is plus 20. 6% tag to female warrior so we are getting more female warriors thank god so she will be a great addition to the team she does add a 26% boost to strike based attack a unique ability is anti saiyan strike up attack attack up sorry plus 40% uh, 
strike damage inflicted to Saiyans, so she is a great addition to any Saiyan team. She does increase their strike attack. And don't run away. If a character on the battlefield, uh, well, sorry, if this character is on the battlefield, the following effects occur to the enemy. Switch a character's restores on key by 30, plus 15% strike damage to inflict per female warrior ally. So for to get the best ally, you need a female warrior ally. Preferably you would want Kale because she's a Saiyan warrior as well as a female warrior. The next character is Super Saiyan Kale Berserk. She is a red type sparking defense type. I'm a bit surprised they put her as a defense type because Berserkers normally all out headstrong attack. Her special move is Giant Impact. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm just going to quickly go through these now because the video is going to be about an hour. Main ability is Uncontrollable Power. Her special, uh, special skill sorry, is Unlock Key Life Form, which restores her own health. So we've got quite a lot of restoring health characters now. Uh, she has 26% as female warriors. She has intimidated, well, intimidate, sorry, which is her unique ability. Sustain blast damage up. So she's got to increase the blast damage by 20%. And she's got cover, destroy card. So randomly destroys two cards when changing cover, which that would be quite great to be honest, because especially if they've got characters or cards that have the dragon stones on it or the dragon balls on it. Okay, so the next one is Super Saiyan Cover. He is a green sparking type. He is a support type. So, do you know what? I, I think I called it. He would have been that. His special move is Gallic Gun, which I'm a bit surprised he actually knows because I don't think he's trained with Vegeta enough to learn that move. But still, um, main ability is Awaken Pride. Awaken Pride. So, restores own, key by 30, own health sorry, by 36%. Special skills is unlock key, form of attack, so 25% ally inflicted damage to for 30, uh, 30 timer count, sorry. Z ability, so 16% to green elements, so he's going to be a great addition to any green based teams. And diligent effort, which 20% to blast damage inflicts for 20 timer counts when the character enters the battlefield. Blast damage inflicts increase according the number of timer counts elapsed with current character up to 70%. So he can increase your blast attack to up to 70%. Now imagine him joining Super Vegeta, then we're saying something, mate. That is going to be some of the next blast damage going on. And of course, assist Vegeta and Universe 6. So of course, he's going to have that uh, strike attack up. So 40% strike damage. For allies named either Vegeta or Universe 6 tag for 15 time accounts, which uh, this character is switched to standby. So when he's on standby, he assists Vegeta and or Universe 6 character tags by giving him 40% strike damage, which is pretty good to be honest. So that's probably why they put this bad boy in. So we already know about Vegeta. I'm just going to go through little bits of his information. So Super Vegeta, yellow type. If you haven't got him, make sure you summon for him. He is a ranged attack. So Blast. Final Flash is his special move. Main ability is I am Super Vegeta. Ultimate skill is Final Chase. Uh, skill Special skill is Unlock Key. Form of attack, so 15%. 22% um, Blast attack. Well, increase to Super Saiyan tagged uh, characters. Unique ability, Pride, Blast Attack Up, and Intimidate, Blast Defense Down. So, he is what it is with him. He's mainly a ranged Blast Attack character. The next character, which once again I'm confused why he's on this banner, is Perfect Form Cell. Red type, Sparking character, ranged attack again. Special move, Super Kamehameha. Main ability, Time for Death Blow. Ultimate skill, perfect combination. Skill, special skill is torrential key, or to, yeah, torrential key, life in peril. Uh, what else you got? Z ability, twenty-two percent to regeneration tag based uh, attack, uh, tag, tag based characters. Sorry, with special attack, uh, strike attack. So that's all right. Unique ability against Super Saiyan. So he's bringing blast up against Super Saiyan, which is really good. Uh, and Intimidate, which is a 5% to enemy uh, strike and blast art cards for 10 timer counts for every time a character enters the battlefield. 
Then we have the new character, which is the only new extreme character, which is Khalifa base form. She is a red type, extreme, range type, and she pretty much nearly, nearly has the same attacks as a Super Saiyan counterpart, but uh, we'll go for it quickly. A special move is Crush Cannon. Deals major explosive damage, 15% blast damage, inflicting for 15 timer counts upon activation. Main ability, bring it on, restores own key, by 50, increase art cards, draw speed, level by 1 for 15 timer counts, minus 10 da to own blast uh, art cards for 15 timer counts, required 10 timer counts to elapse. Special skill, unlock key, form of speed, restores own vanishing gauge, which is really good, by 40%, plus 20% to own key recovery for 15 timer counts. Uh, she's 20% to element red elements. Uh, Blast, attack and defense during the battle, which is good. And unique ability is taunt. Uh, taunt inflict damage up. So 40% damage to inflict. When this character enters the battlefield, the effect is cancelled when enemy lands an attack. So our last one is energized female warrior. So 20% to allied, name female warrior, blast, attack, blast damage. For 15 time accounts when the character enters the battlefield. So mainly when she enters the battlefield she does a nice increase by 20% to female warriors. And of course she does 40% to herself. So that's really good. So that is all that's on this banner. And that is the I believe the normal banner which is there. So what we're going to do now is we are going to check our little login okay so we have the ultra space time login bonus so once we lose one login bonus we get another which is really good because they are giving us these tickets so the ultra space time login bonus is here the period is from today the 31st of january to the 21st of february okay so you've only got a limited time for these bonuses is about three weeks which is enough time for you to get enough of these tickets, which we'll go into the information on that in a second. Okay, so there's different uh, gifts available. Each login day, deluxe rewards, ultra space time, assist tickets. So like the ultra space time number eight, where you can get, I believe you have to use 14 of them, 14 of these tickets, so that's 14 days or maybe 15 days you have to log in, you will get these tickets and you can summon for two guaranteed um, characters on the banner so once again if you haven't seen how that works check out my other video for the ultra space time number eight and it gives you a rough idea so like I said you get these tickets which are the silver with a nine in it and you exchange seven of them tickets for a sparking rarity guaranteed ultra space time you can only do this once it says oh that's a little bit cheeky a little bit cheeky the last one would too so we'll see in a second when we actually click on the banner so log in every day and these are the these are the gifts you're going to get so the first day you log in so today if you haven't logged in make sure you do so because you're going to get 50 chronos as well as one assist ticket day two is one assist ticket and 500,000 zenny day three is another assist ticket and one million zenny as well as as five silver bells Day four, you'll get your assist ticket and 500,000 zenny again. The same again on day five, but you will get silver bells included. So five of those, which you need for your training purposes. Then on day six, you'll get 500,000 zenny as well as another assist ticket. And day seven, you will get your seventh one, which you can then summon for your guaranteed sparking. You'll get 500,000 zenny. You'll get 20 skip tickets, which is a nice plus. Day 8, you will not get any of these Ultra Space Time Assist tickets. You're just going to get two energy tickets, which give you your energy for the day. So it's another 10. 20 skip tickets and five silver bells. Day 9, we come back in with the Assist ticket and 500,000 zenny. Exactly the same on day 10, but you're going to get a million zenny. And then we drop into day 11, where the Ultra Space Time assist tickets again, 500,000 zenny and five silver bells. Day 12, 
pretty much exactly the same, but you will only get the assist tickets and 500,000 zenny. Day 13 is the energy tickets, the skip tickets, and the silver bells. Day 14 is your nine, oh sorry, your assist ticket, 500,000 and 20 uh, skip tickets. Day 15 is your skip, uh, your zenny and your assist ticket. I'm not, if, I'm not going to go through them all directly now because it's like I said it's going to take forever I'm just going to tell you what we're going to get you're going to get assist tickets on 16 on day 16 as well as any 17th day energy tickets skip tickets and silver bells day 18 uh, assist uh, tickets with uh, 500,000 zenny again once again day 19 is assist ticket zenny and silver bells day 20 is assist ticket and 500,000 any and the last day you will get a hundred chrono and five silver bells so with those you can use them to like i said summon on these banners there will be separate banners for them so once you accumulate your first ticket they will open up the banner section for you so you can use them but once again you do need to have seven of these assists to actually get a guarantee but i believe there will be other banners for the single summons for the tickets so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the last little bit of information and that is the ticket banner the actual banner itself we're going to see what characters are actually on there because there shouldn't be too many because we've only got a few new characters so what we're going to do is look at them so it's from the 31st which is today until the 5th of March okay so the 5th of March you have pretty much a solid month to use these tickets so once again you do need seven okay seven of these tickets and the characters that are included are Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa so you do not get her on your chrono summons just wait seven days and hopefully you can get her on your free guarantee so just make sure you're logging in Super Saiyan Kale Berserk Super Saiyan Kaba you've got Super Vegeta sell and that's it so you've got one chance i believe so one in five chance to get one of the new well one of the three characters the new ones but my and my luck i'm going to get super vegeta because i've already got him i have a one in four chance to get something new well a four in five chance to get something new because i haven't got sell and of course I haven't got any of the new characters because I haven't summoned yet. But guys, that is it for me today. That's all the information I know. If you would like to know more, don't forget to write in the comments below. Also put your two pence in. Let me know what you think about the banners and the new login bonuses, of course. And also, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also drop a like. And until next time, people, peace.